I'm training to be one of Mick Leisner's underwater models for his latest project, which is an underwater calendar. If there's any attitudes or anything like that come up, we're going to get you home. We're going to start scuba diving. Maybe she's freaking out. Maybe she realized she's not cut out for this. If she can't make even just a couple of laps, why are we investing in this? I'm just not sure if they have potential. Can these girls model? I started underwater photography uh, more than 15 years ago, but I photographed what everybody else was photographing, which is primarily uh, marine life. Um, I had a model friend in Cebu, Philippines, that said, you know, I really want to have some pictures of me underwater. And actually, when we put those online, uh, the amount of comments they were receiving was tremendous. My type of photography is a team effort. You know, photographer, as a photographer, I just press the button. But you know, there's a lot of safety divers, um, set designers, people who design the wardrobe um, that make such a shoot actually happen. My name's Beck Piquet, I'm a producer for Mick Leisner Photography. My name's Freya Jones, I'm the casting director and associate producer for Mick Leisner Photography. So I organise all the logistics, uh, the girls, the divers, everything that needs to happen to make his uh, magic work. It's up to me to make sure that these models are showing up on time and doing their job. My background is actually modelling, so I think to do this job I have a great insight into what the girls are going through and also what Mick needs. I've been working closely with Mick to hire the models for his latest project, which is an underwater calendar. So. What I want to know is really availability. Hundreds of applicants. She's 18 years old. She says she's a good swimmer. She's done jazz dancing, horseback riding, snowboarding, and kayaking. So her personality good, she's yeah. good yeah. spirits. I, I don't want any princesses. I like it, it's fine. Michelle Bukowski. Actress, Disney, CSI, TV shows, commercials. Oh. This is Christina. Mm -hmm. New Yorker. New York. Mm. Well, New Yorkers are tough. Okay, so this is Sherry Young. Mm -hmm. She's 22 years old, mm -hmm. five foot nine. She's living in New York, but she's mm -hmm. Chinese. You know, all the Asian girls lie about their height. So she's probably five, five. All the Western girls lie about their age. <laughs> you know, she actually lied about her age this she, month. She lied about oh, her really? age. Yes. And in her probably, video, she said she, she said, probably lied about her age and her height. Mick and I have cast four models who we hope are going to be up to the job. I'm Christina Zabo. I'm from New York. I'm training to be one of Mick Leisner's underwater models. I'm Summer. I'm one of the models for Mick Leisner's photography. I'm from New Jersey. I'm Michelle Barkowski from California, and I'm training to be one of Mick Gleisner's underwater models. Michelle doesn't have a lot of modeling experience, but she's a dancer, so we're hoping she can relate that to underwater posing. Hey, my name's Sherry. I'm from New York. I'm trained to be one of Mick's um, underwater models. Sherry's the only Asian girl in the group, so we're hoping she's going to add a nice, diverse look. Welcome to Bangkok. Thank you. <laughs> How was the trip? It was very good. Uh, it was a little cold, but it was long. Sherry, hey! Great to finally meet you. <laughs> so how's your, what was the trip? It's good. I'm excited about the underwater modeling. Yes, Michelle. Hello, good to finally to meet, meet you. you. Mm. How was the trip? It was good. It's long, but uh -huh. I want to sleep. <laughs> so your first time abroad? Yeah, first time this far. It's like so much different from home. Are you Chinese? Yeah. Is it so warm? 
Yeah. Wow, you're still, still Chinese. Still, we are. We speak Chinese. Wow. The reason we brought everybody to Bangkok is 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 it's a perfect place to shop. I went shopping up uh -huh. and down the streets. I got to like explore the whole area. A rule of thumb is always whatever price mm -hmm. they say you have it. Yeah. And they said no, 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 cannot do. It. And then they walk away. And right. Say, ah. I brought some some just some photos for inspiration. Anything that's that's shiny, right? Mm -hmm. The one type is. I want to be a mermaid. I've always dreamed to be a mermaid. We want you to pick something that you that that fits your style. Okay, so I'm looking forward to working with you. Well, it's great to have you here. Yeah, thank you. I'm so excited. She's Chinese. When she showed up late without telling anyone, I was cringing and like, "Oh, you can't do that." Attitudes or anything like that come up, we got to get you home. She's holding onto the wall like a little kid in an ice rink. She can't swim. I'm so excited to work with Mick because I love what he does. Mick's work is unbelievable. I've never seen anyone shoot like he does underwater. He's always thinking outside the box. You know, no shoot is ever the same. So he's always going to push the envelope. It's a massive production. It's such a huge opportunity for me. I cannot wait to just put that in my book and be like. One of the first things that the models do when they arrive is become scuba certified. That's first part of their training, and if they can pass that, they're on a good run. As long as I could remember any teams or anything I did, you show up 15 minutes before the call time. Uh, Sherry, oh there she is. <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> when she showed up late without telling anyone, I was cringing and like, oh, you can't do that. Like I know she didn't mean to, but I just think it's something you need to learn. I'm a little bit concerned about the girls so far. We already had one girl showing up late. I don't know if they're taking it seriously enough. And it's raining. Scotty's Dive Centre where we start scuba training. So just be prepared that, you know, we have days like this, we can't shoot. As soon as there's a sunny day, we're like on to it. This is a Paddy Five Star National Geographic Dive Centre. Okay. Morning ladies. Now you're mixed models, so we're going to take extra special care of you. The weather is not so great today, but that's okay. The course is kind of flexible. We have two swimming tests, and the fun part, we have four open water dives. First, we're going to be starting with a classroom session. And we've got a video to watch, okay? Really exciting. So if you'd like to take a seat. Uh, I didn't expect it to be anything like doing book work and all these mathematical terms. Emily told us we had homework and tests and stuff like that. I got a little scared. So many things to memorize. I didn't even know there was a written exam. So I just expected to be going straight underwater and learning from that point. True or false? An object is neutrally buoyant when it displaces an amount of water less than its own weight. False. 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 <laughs> Okay, so basically what this is telling you is the deeper you go, the more pressure there is. You guys are in the States and we're working in meters and feet. That's pressure. I'm meeting a new batch of models today. I don't think they really know what they're in for. I think they have a perception that it's going to be all glamour and glitz and very easy sort of work. Yeah, I think after this week it'll be a lot easier. They've got another thing coming because this is a lot of hard work. Hi ladies. Hi. Oh, my name's Rebecca, I'm the producer for Mick Gleiser's Photography. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys too. First impressions are everything. So when I first meet the girls, I step back a little bit and just observe. I watch their body language, I see the behavior, their interaction with everyone else. And generally you can pick up in the first five minutes how a girl's gonna go. I need to know from you guys that you got what it takes and ready to put in the hard work to get those beautiful results. It's just the basics. Always be on time, never be late. Always be contactable. You guys can have fun while you're here, but please don't be out till two in the morning before a shoot at the Tiki Bar. I'll be extremely annoyed. As a producer, I have to go in and sort of set the tone and sort of set that benchmark from the beginning. If there's any attitudes or anything like that come up, we've got to get you home because there's many other girls that want to get here. We've got a certain goal and we want to achieve that. If you can shine in mixed eyes and you know he can see that you've got what it takes, I'm sure there's a bright future for you guys. We're going to wake them up a bit. So they're going to do their swim test first and then their first confined pool session. Swim around the pool five times, continuous. Don't touch the bottom, don't touch the sides. It's not a race, just take your time. And we're supposed to take five laps around the pool and then we're gonna start scuba diving. I'm running out of breath. 
How many was that? One. <laughs> One? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's happening with um, what, the girl over there? Cherry? Um, she's holding onto the wall like a little kid in an ice rink. Okay. And she can't swim. Yeah. 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 Did she, like, she didn't say like, anything? No, like we found out one day ago. So just relax, catch your breath. I can't move my leg now. Is it painful? Yeah. If she can't make even just a couple of laps, why are we investing in this? She never told us that she couldn't swim. So she lied. That's a great start. Hey. You all right? I like her. Is that coming on the move? Cram? Yeah, because I don't really know how to swim. When we did the casting for this, that was one of the first questions. Can you swim? Do you like being underwater? Look, let's just see how you go. Just relax. Try and get rid of the cramps. Well, she's saying she's having trouble breathing. I think she's just freaking out, basically. She's freaking out. Well, the thing is, we haven't got time to be bloody pampering this one when she's got cramps from being in the pool for five minutes. It's, the whole schedule will be out. I don't know what Mick's going to say about this. When I found out that Sherry didn't know how to swim, I was really shocked. I don't know much about swimming. If I had to guess one of the girls that probably isn't going to make it, I'd probably say Sherry. She doesn't even know how to open her eyes underwater. So. The last person I would probably hire would be Sherry. Just because I don't know how to swim, I might surprise a lot of people. I mean, we'll see how she does. <laughs> Gonna give it another go? All right. Sherry's coming back in. Maybe just watch her. Oh, God. Well, you're going away from the wall, so just relax and just, just, just take your time. It's not an Olympic race. This isn't about swimming technique, but from what we can see, it's like it's not, you're not very efficient in your strokes. You know, you've got to try and really push the water and use your legs to propel you through. One, two, three, go! I'm stressed out every day. That's the whole setup. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. I saw her cheat off my favorite. She shared the same test. I'm not sure if they have potential. I really want to show everybody I can do this, even though I'm very like scared of water. Sherry's problem is that she's overthinking. It's called perceptual narrowing. Believe that only bad things are going to happen. Oh, yeah. She thinks no one's there with her. I keep telling myself, Sherry, you can do this. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. 21 feet. Like crazy. One, two, three, go! Yes, Here, I'm here. I'm here. Relax. Relax and enjoy. Relax and enjoy. I would never imagine diving in the ocean, no way. Give it a blast for that. <laughs> okay, girls! Right, now we have Mick meeting you today for lunch. So if we can get changed as quick as possible, we're meeting him right now for lunch. Okay, so all right, let's go. So, hello, girls. Hi, Meg. How's it going? Good. How are you? So, how are they doing? We had a few issues yesterday with talking in class and being a little boisterous. Talking in class? You know, talking, talking in class! class. Mick loves to put people on the spot, you know, and he'll just say in front of everyone. So, who's doing the best? Who's doing the worst? Who's fighting? Sherry actually showed up late for the first day of training. Well, I didn't do it on purpose to be late. I'm just, my stomach doesn't feel well, so we want me to do it. The reactions from the girls is sort of like they're all looking at each other. I think he wants it to build up the competition and you know create a little bit of competitive spirit. Makes people better in the long run. In the beginning, when you hold your breath, you're doing like, <gasps> and yeah. that means to become a, like a balloon. Yeah. But the more relaxed you are, you can just stop in the middle of a breathing cycle like this. You'll be amazed oh, wow. how much progress you're making if you do it every day. You're hitting two minutes, three minutes in no time. We'll push for it. Good. <laughs> yes. so let's get some food. Okay, okay. awesome. Perfect. The girls are just about to go out for their dive and they're hoeing down pizza. As a model, that is a no-no. You generally don't eat on the shoot day at all. You have to be in peak physical condition. These girls should be working out every day. Girls, are you in a bit of a gym routine or a fitness routine at the moment? I'm okay. so wiped out from my... Training. That's why I was trying to subtly bring up, are you doing any exercise, you know, what's your sort of regime, because these girls are going to start stacking on the weight. So after lunch, girls, we're going to go into the ocean, and then after that, we're going back to the studio, and we're going to jump in the pool and do some breath holding. So back, make sure. Yeah. They're there at five. Not five or five, not five, eleven, five. They'll be there. Paddle thin, they'll be there. Okay, well, thank you. See you all at the pool. Oh, thank 55. you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank Bye. you. We better get ready, girls.
diving, there are inherent dangers. It's so hard to put it. What belt? Oh, I don't know. Put it wrong way. Can you fix it for me? What? Sherry was having a lot of trouble putting her BCD on, and she put her weight belt on back to front. That is very dangerous. Where's your compass? Your compass. They've got to be aware of the dangers. The main thing is that they actually take something away from the course, so they remember all of the safety measures we've got, the safety stops and no decompression limits. If they do remember that, that's great. That's what we're hoping for. The main concern is if they get separated from the group. If they go up too quickly, it's because you've got lots of boats going overhead. concern me every time Sherry goes into the water just because she kind of takes away from our time with our instructor because she's always having to be singly like helped with. Why are you always scared? I'm scared that you don't want to take off the mask. You've done it in the pool and you took it off for one minute. Maybe someone should explain to her that she's not going to have a mask at all when she's going to be doing the underwater modeling. Sherry not knowing how to swim creates more extra time with Lee, which turns into flirting. Uh, she probably does this her whole life to get by. She barely speaks English, so maybe that's how she helps herself pass. Usually she's right on top with Lee, which is our instructor. Sherry thinks by like spending extra time with Lee, flirting, who knows what she does, it'll help her, you know, pass the scuba thing. Who knows? I think Lee's like falling for it. I think he's starting to like Sherry. Thank you. If the call time is 5 o'clock, yeah. you know, they should be here 4.45, right? I know. And everything adds up, and then yeah. it's a the whole setup. Yeah, to, I, right? I don't know what happened. I'll just um, I'll try and make it better. drink before you go for a dive. I saw her cheat off my paper. This could potentially save their life out there. That hurt? Freya, we may have a problem. Getting really nervous. It's just really bad. Can this girl's model? It's multiple choice final exam. 50 questions, they have to get 75% at least correct. This is really going to separate who is here to do this underwater modelling and who is just here for a holiday. All the girls were there apart from Sherry. It's the second time she's been late. I thought we told you 7.30. I didn't know. We've been told that she was drinking last night. Did you go out last night? Yeah, I stayed out for a little bit. Chug, 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 chug. You cannot drink before you go for a dive. Anyone who dives knows that. What the hell? Like, I'm here. I want to enjoy it. I'm stressed out every day. I want to grab a beer. Just relax. It's going to put everyone's schedule out if she keeps doing that. And we've already spoken to her about it. Crazy we get to ride on a golf cart to work every day. I love how everyone says good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm feeling super nervous about the exam. I'm feeling nervous. I just want to get it done. I think it'll be pretty easy. I'm actually really concerned for Sherry because her first language is not English. So good luck to Sherry. All right, girls, no cheating. OK. Good luck. Tell some of the girls weren't taking it seriously. It was kind of annoying me. Scuba diving is like not a joke. I need to know that I did this correctly. They have to be paying attention because this could potentially save their life out there. I've marked your exams. How do you think you did? I was really confident walking into it, but now I'm kind of scared. Who do you think got the top score? Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> well, there was two of you. You got the same score. Firstly, was Summer. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god. Uh, and the other top score, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Not far behind, with 82%. Michelle! Yeah, Michelle. Finally, you got 82%, so you passed as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. Matching scores for the matching partners. I don't know if she copied me or not, but I know I didn't copy because I'm not a cheater. There's uh, some question very tricky. I don't know what it is. I've been studying every night, and from what I've heard, she's been out every night, so I just think it's kind of impossible, I could say, that she would get the same score. They didn't think that I'm going to pass the test, but I passed. I really didn't think Sherry was going to pass. I think she's hit or miss that girl. Let's see how she goes in the pool now. You know, you 
need to lower your heart rate, expand your lungs, and just relax. So get in the zone and get ready to use that now. When you've got no more air, come up and we'll give you your time. One, two, three. Sixteen. That hurt? Oh, God. Freya, we may have a problem. <laughs> Okay, ladies, ready for round two? Let's better those times. If you try and sing a song in your head and then try and push yourself to sing the next verse, it takes your mind off not being able to breathe. 17, and your head wasn't right under there either. Michelle's having problems and she's only this far under the water. Maybe she's freaking out. Maybe she realized she's not cut out for this. I think we should pull her out now. I'm separating the weak from the strong. Sherry, 29. 29. Summer, 46. Wow, Christina. I think she's been practicing. Sherry, one minute 10. Christina, 111. Summer, 130. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good girls. You're going to be just sinking straight down to the bottom. We want to test your buoyancy. The more air you let out, the easier it is to sink. Yeah, Christina's down there straight away. Is Help. she doing posing down there? Yeah, she is. Oh. Very good. <laughs> uh, Beck, can I talk yeah, to you uh, sure. for a second? You so, what do you think? Can these girls model? Can they cut it? Modeling-wise? I hope so. What I would like to do is maybe do a test shoot today. Okay. So really see how they look on camera, how comfortable they are. I'm just not sure watching them if they have potential. Yeah. Right? Not everybody can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, girls, we're going to do a test shoot this afternoon. We've got one of mixed photographers here to shoot it. And the main objectives are to see if your eyes are open underwater, to see how you can move and look underwater, and to see how long you can stay underwater and look comfortable. I'm just going to look for what your natural poses are going to be. You're going to strike a couple poses as long as you can. Getting really nervous and I'm like shaking. I thought Christina would be the best out of all of them. Me too, I thought she'd nail it. Isn't it funny how Sherry's butt is so buoyant? Oh my god, there it goes again. if she's only down there for like five or ten seconds. This is really bad. I don't know what Mick's going to say about Michelle. You know, I've seen him take a lot worse and, and turn it into something great. Give her the benefit of the doubt. It's his decision, his final decision. You know, she, she doesn't have the body control. This is a disaster. And he's going to have to go home or whatever. Are any of these girls the kind of girls that freak out and shoot up to the surface? 